This is part two on how Speed only made 45k from his merch drop. If you haven't seen part one yet, definitely check that out first or else this part one makes sense. But basically, just to summarize, essentially Speed dropped merch last week and he only sold $45,000 worth of it, despite having over 12 million followers on YouTube, which is really surprisingly low. And I basically explained how that all comes down to audience quality and demographic. But now let's actually tie this into KSI and Logan Paul's new drink, Prime, and exactly why this is such a great idea for them. So a good amount of people following Logan and KSI are just as young as Speed's audience. There's definitely a good amount of overlap between their audiences. Even though the average age of their followers might be a bit higher for Logan and KSI just because of their own age. Now these guys also face a very similar issue to Speed because they have millions of 11, 12, 13 year olds also following them but it's very hard to monetize those audiences because again they're super young they can't really buy expensive stuff. It's basically impossible for them to even sell $40 t-shirts and $70 hoodies to these young kids because they just simply can't afford it. So basically speaking if they were trying to go down the normal e-commerce route and trying to sell stuff to their audience they just can't get the numbers work when selling to these young audience because if you price your products so little, the numbers just don't work with shipping and all the other costs factored in. However, two pound bottles of water on the other hand is definitely something that the audience can buy because it's very cheap and it's also something that they will happily buy multiple times as long as they nail the taste. Also, they don't have to order it online, they can just go to store and buy it. And multiple two pound purchases of these drinks can very quickly add up to hundreds of pounds in customer lifetime value, which basically means they can literally push maybe even a thousand times more volume selling these cheaper drinks than they could ever do with merch, at least with this very young and hard to monetize audience. So what they've really done is they found a really strong way to monetize a near majority of their audience, which is basically something that most YouTubers haven't done. And they don't just have to rely on the $1 CPM that YouTube would originally pay them via AdSense for those low quality views. And now there's another really great influencer marketing lesson in here. When you're working with a young influencer who probably has a young audience, you can only really sell lower ticket products, ideally under $25 in sale price. However, when you're working with an older influencer, you can easily sell much more higher ticket products. Now, let me let you in on a little secret. For some of our stores, when we're using an influencer with a really young audience, like you can see over here, the majority of the audience is 18 to 24, which is fairly young, we might sell a product for $25. However, if we're working with an influencer like this, which is much older, you can see it's mostly 30 year old plus and mothers as well, we can just really easily inflate the price of the product that we would originally sell for $25 to the young audience, and maybe now we can get away with selling it for $50. And the only reason we can do that is because this audience has much more stronger purchasing power and they can actually afford a higher priced product. And you can even try this pricing out on your Facebook ads. Try to create different ad sets for two different audiences, young and old, and try to increase the price for the old audience, and maybe you will still convert just as well, if not even better, with a higher price. And also, this is exactly why you need to get a screenshot of any influencer's account demographics before you work with them, because you want to see what the average age of the audience is, and then you can decide at what price point did you actually price your products. And if you enjoyed this breakdown video, make sure you like and follow for more e-com tips just like this.